A new pharaoh, Nebka, has been proclaimed, heralding the beginning of the third dynasty of Egyptian rulers. Nebka has brought great organization and structure to Egypt, ordering that all our realm be divided into districts or nodes, each governed by a local ruler called a nomarch. Though this system may seem rigid, under his leadership Egypt has grown and prospered and made many great achievements in art and architecture. Merchant caravans traveling oasis by oasis from deep within the African interior have begun to provide Egypt with many rare and exotic luxury goods now prized by our people. Unfortunately, these caravans are routinely attacked by warriors from Libya and even by Bedouin of the eastern desert. To secure these trade routes, Pharaoh Nebka, he of the said Gen B, wishes you to establish a military post at the Salima Oasis, the hub of the caravan trade, far beyond the borders of our realm. There you will find some trees suitable for timber, the sale of which will help you raise money to fund the establishment of this outpost. To forge weapons, you may obtain copper from our newly established mines at Timna in the land of Sinai. From the Salima Oasis, you may import ebony from the African nation of Kerma. Once you have succeeded in establishing this outpost, it shall provide a reliable source of ebony for all the cities in our realm. Hey guys, welcome back to Pharaoh. My name is Zach and we're here at the Salima Oasis, the road to Africa. Population 3000 and other ratings not too high. So let's just jump into the city and see what what's in store for us. There we go. Uh, the finer things, temple complexes, luxury goods, harvesting timber, yes, yes. Okay, good. Now, let's make sure the speed is uh, all the way down. Down to 10%, there we go. Uh, and let's see, we've got lots of trees for the timber, we've got these ostriches here, looks like that's our only food source. What's our raw materials? Just woodcutter, okay. But we can produce pots, beer, and papyrus. Uh huh. And he did say this was a military outpost, so we're gonna need to build a military here, but there's no copper, as he said, we have to import it. So let's look at the world map. And again, uh, keep in mind this is the widescreen mod, so all this stuff on the right here, that doesn't actually exist. We're looking over here on the left. So we're here at Salima Oasis. Kerma can sell us ebony. Okay. Uh, they buy jewelry. Okay, they're, they're considered luxury goods. Okay. Uh, so if we need any of that there, I, I don't think... Uh, yeah, okay. So let's see. What can we sell? Uh, linen, that's not really what we can do. Bricks, no. They buy gems, no. Okay, they buy wood here at Bedet. They buy wood here at Abjadu. Uh, they also buy papyrus. And they buy game meat. Okay, so we can sell that. I want to set up as big of an economy as possible so I don't have to worry about it. Over here they buy beer. And at Timna they also buy beer. So, uh, but Timna sells copper as well. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, what raw materials can we import? Okay, we can get barley from here. And then we can sell beer. And then we can also get, can we get, we can get reeds from here, and then we can sell papyrus. Okay, good. So, uh, basically, we should probably just open up these trade routes straight away. I'm gonna open up this one, gonna open up this one. I know it's expensive, but uh, we need to get our exports going, at least of wood. So here, both of these places buy wood, so we're gonna get a nice wood industry going. now. Uh, we need a housing area. Now my traditional block, which I've been doing, just one, won't hit 3,000 people. So we'll need that and a bit. Uh, but where can we put it? The water sources are kind of here, but I'll have to cut down trees to be able to get it. Is that worth it? Can I put a housing block right here if I cut down these trees? There's still enough trees really to go around. I think it'll be okay. But I need space for two housing blocks. What should I do? There is quite a bit of space to work with here. Maybe if I put two blocks kind of that way, because they need to be over in this grassy area, so I can put a watering hole, a water supply. So if I put two, two blocks like that, 
That should work, and then we will only have to cut down a few trees on this side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw out these housing blocks and see how they look. Okay, there we go. I've spent until I have no more money left. But as you can see here, I've set up a housing area and a space for a second one over here, which I won't touch for now. But here's my housing area in the normal block that I've done. And I've set up eight woodcutters here. And there's not much else going on. Um, I probably should put down my water supply, um, which will be here. So I'm thinking of putting the granary over here, and then I can just have the, the game hunters over here. Granaries over here, then I'll supply both areas, and uh, then the market can go over there. So we just have to wait for people to move in, then this storage yard is going to collect all the wood, and then we can start selling, which we have actually set wood to export when over zero. So let's speed up the game and wait for people to move in, then hopefully uh, our wood exports will take off. Okay, looks like we're making quite a bit of money from selling all of this wood and we're just deforesting this whole area. And we've also started our uh, game meat production here. When we get a nice stockpile of that up, we'll start feeding these people. Meanwhile, we should look into making even more money. So what else can we export? Just, just looking at it, uh, we could... Uh, let's see, what can we export? Papyrus. We can import reeds already and export papyrus. So I think we should do that. So, let's see. I'm gonna put down a storage yard. Let's see. I'm gonna leave a gap there for them. Put down a storage yard here. And I'm gonna extend this road out. Now, this storage yard is gonna be our import area. So, I'm gonna... Actually, no. I'm gonna import reeds to, I suppose... I'll just accept reeds for all now. Uh, and then I'm gonna put a storage yard next to it. We do have plenty of people to work with because there's no real... Uh, uh, th there's nothing really to make people work in. There's no work camps. So here's gonna accept papyrus. So here's reeds and papyrus set up. And actually, because we're gonna need a school over on that side, I'm gonna set... Ah. I'm gonna set this one to papyrus and the other one to reeds. Just so it's a little bit closer to the school that I'll eventually build. There we go. Now, I'm gonna have to... Go to the trade area. I'm gonna export papyrus when it's over 400. And I'm gonna import reeds to maintain 1,200. I don't know, how, how many can we actually sell? Uh, it's papyrus. The, who's buying papyrus? It must be here. 2,500 units? Okay. Uh, we can... Uh, not wood. Uh, import reeds, 2,500. Okay, I'll import to maintain half of that. Well, how much, uh, how many reeds can we import, actually? Let me have a look. Uh, reeds. Who's selling reeds? It must be Bedet. 2,500. So they will sell me 2,500 reeds, which I can then turn into 2,500, uh, uh, papyrus. So it is... There you go, let's just import 2,500 reeds and we'll export as much as possible. And then we just have to set down our papyrus makers. Again, I'm gonna leave a gap there. And we just have to get that industry going like that. Uh, should I put down two more? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna put down two more papyrus makers. There. Now, that should get that industry going and hopefully make us even more money. There we go, we're already getting the reeds coming in. How much can a storage yard actually hold? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if it's 4 per unit, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 3,200. Okay, perfect. So that's two exports going. And now we can focus on trying to feed our people here. Uh, looks like we do need more food coming in. Perhaps more more hunting lodges? I'm not too sure. Maybe the granary is too far away. I don't know. I'll, I'll wait until it, it, it continues a bit further and see how it goes. Oh, what's this? Oh, Royal Scribe Gamerzak VIII to supplement his estate stocks. Matchless Pharaoh wants you to send 200 pouches of luxury goods to Mennefer within four months. Huh. Okay. Luxury goods. I don't think we can import gems. I've been looking around and Kerma sells luxury goods. 
we can't import gems. I don't think we can even build jewelers. So he wants us to import luxury goods from Kerma and then give it to him. Well, that's kind of expensive, but I guess I'm going to have to do it. Okay, let's see. Luxury goods, I'm going to import to maintain 400. I guess that's how much he's going to try to ask for. And now we got to make space. Uh, ooh. Seth vows to protect any of your soldiers sent to battle in far off lands. Okay, cool. Now, where can we put these luxury goods? We gotta stock it somewhere. I guess, uh... These reeds? The papyrus. I think we could make some space here. If we set this down... Like that. Because we're gonna be selling off the reeds, we can uh, double up the usage of this storage yard. Now, looking at our food supply, it's starting to look better. We could probably start feeding some people. I'm gonna put down two bazaars as usual because just to make sure there's enough space here and that should start raising our population because we are a little short on workers. Actually that's quite a lot short on workers. So let's hurry up and get those people fed. Um, and I just noticed I built these three temples in a place where I'm supposed to do a double road. <laughs> so um, then again the double road is just for a plaza so I guess we don't really need to double road that. Uh, should be fine. The double road is just for that. But we could, uh... Oh, wait. I wanted to put down some entertainment, but I think we should wait for people to come in first. Alright, let's see these houses evolve. Uh-oh, flames are sweeping through. That's not good. Let's, uh, stop that from happening. Uh... <laughs> uh, the luxury goods I sent off are good. Now, uh, looks like that's... that's not going so well. I'm gonna have to... Uh, these fire guys just aren't walking where they're supposed to be. I'm gonna put these two down here, extend this road, and I guess we're gonna have to put down a house back there or something. There we go. Just a couple houses there, and ooh, what was that? Population milestone hit a thousand people. Perfect. Now let's clear this up. Come on, put those fires out. I'm gonna rebuild my papyrus makers. There we go. Looks like we're earning a ton of money, uh, which is perfect. Um, uh, that, those houses there are going to cause some health problems, aren't they? I'm going to drop a physician there just because. Uh, uh, so, let's see. These houses are now evolving. Food supplies are actually looking a little low. Um, maybe because it's the first flood of feeding. So, let's hope our food supply can keep up with the pace. Though, maybe I want to... Um, Extend the road out this way a little bit. If I I build a road along here, I'm gonna cut down more wood. But I guess we can spare we can spare the oh not more flames. Where? I don't see it. I don't see any flames. Oh, there it is. Wait, there? Why? Uh, okay. Let's just drop down another firehouse. Make sure this doesn't spread. What burned down? That was my dentist. The dentist burned down? Ah, oh, well, never mind. I'm gonna build a road out this way. Put down another firehouse and architect's posts. And put down a couple more hunting lodges here. This should get a nice. Ooh, I can't build on animal breeding grounds. Okay. Uh, well, this should get me a nice extra supply of game meat. There we go. Okay, now that l my money is actually really, really high, I think I should start my military. So let's slow down the game here. We don't want to waste any time. And let's see, we need to get copper in to produce weapons. This is an expensive land trade route to open, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to import copper. Import levels to maintain 800. And I have to go ahead and set up a military industry somewhere. And I think I can just set it up at the back here. I'm going to extend this road out this way. Not to the very end, just about there. And I'm going to... Let's see, I need... Uh, first of all, firehouse and architect's post right there. And then I'm going to need a storehouse, a warehouse. Uh, let's see. Uh, storage yard, which I can stick right on the end there. And this will accept copper half and weapons half. There we go. And I then just need to get some... Can I not make... Pot of... I can't make weapons? 
Wait, no, it'll be over here. Uh, the weaponsmith. So you need to get... Like three weaponsmiths, that should do. And I'll also need a recruiter. There we go. So there's my little military industry right at the back there. And I'm gonna need to build forts somewhere. Um... Oh, I just realized. I hope they don't attack from this right side here. That's gonna be terrible. But I'm just gonna build three forts over on this side. Uh, let's see. Gonna put down one... Should I just build it along this road here? Yeah, uh, I can give it a bit of space. I'm gonna put... Uh, some infantry there. And I'm gonna put down two archers. There we go. Uh, so, infantry and two archers, that should be enough for, uh, for this little military outpost. And now we just have to wait for some copper to come in. But meanwhile, this recruiter will be able to start training some archers. Oh, what's this? Military scouts have terrible news to report. It seems a debilitating siege now strikes Kerma. So, Kerma is where I was getting my luxury goods from. Oh, okay. Uh... So, uh, Pharaoh did ask for more luxury goods, so I just gave him some. Looks like I still got 300 left, so hopefully he doesn't ask for 400 or something like that. Now, currently our main problem is our food supply. I'm having difficulty feeding this group right here, let alone, um, another housing area. But I don't know how to get more food in. I mean, the hunting grounds are actually down here, the secondary hunting grounds anyway. Maybe I should have built my housing areas down here. This might have been actually a better decision. But oh well, let's see if we can make this work. Um, we can't get any more food. Could we import more food? Uh, anyone sells food? We could import fish, I guess. Um, we could actually import quite a lot of fish if we wanted to. I guess we could... Uh, if we do that... Importing fish, I guess it, it's kind of the best way to, to get something going. Yeah, because this game meat is just not working. Hunting grounds are too far away. Okay, so I'm, I might have to try start importing fish to supplement my food supply. Oh, a foreign army is invading! Because of their dreams of an empire, Libyan army is eager to invade and will reach your city in one year. Good thing we started our military. <laughs> one year should give us plenty of time to get these forts up and running. Oh, the Libyan army will be here in six months, but meanwhile, I've solved my food problem. All I did was move the granary or, you know, down to here, and suddenly we have a granary full of meat. And look at this, there's, there's so much stored meat. Just a simple system change, for example, making it a little bit more efficient by moving a granary from there to there. Suddenly, we've got a huge surplus of food, which is insane. And now we can fill up two different granaries uh, full of meat, which should give us plenty of food. Looks like we won't have to import fish yeah, anyway. And our military is looking good, so six months should give us plenty of time to, to get that all sorted. Now that we've done that, we can start focusing on... Uh, getting these houses even more evolved. Uh, I know we could import barley and um, clay to produce uh, pots and beer. I, maybe I should do that. It would be the efficient thing to do. Oh, uh, Pharaoh wants 200 uh, luxury goods again. Good thing we stored that up because we can't import any more from Kerma. Okay, so um, the efficient thing to do would be to import um, clay and... Uh, uh, barley to get a uh, nice industry going, which I guess we could do. It, it would be the right thing to do, don't you think? Uh, the, a storehouse uh, needs to be somewhere around here, so markets from both sides of the this can actually access it. Perhaps I should move my palace. Let's see, can I fit a storage yard anywhere here? Maybe I should move this granary to somewhere less efficient, but probably more worthwhile in the long run. So I'm gonna move the granary over to this side. Um, let's see, for this one I'm gonna do the double road, because we might need those plazas up. There we go. We can get this double road going all the way around. Oh, except we can't get one there. Never mind. Get this double road going all the way around. And then we can 
drop, uh, we should probably get some houses in, actually. Just like that. Uh, Libyan army will be here in a month, no problem. We will get our external firehouse and architect's post. And we'll drop the granary there. And this granary will just be for meat. And we can start emptying this one. And then I'm going to put a storage yard there to store beer and pots. Perfect. Um, meanwhile, I should probably get the... Ooh, looks like the army is here. Let's slow this down. Uh, let's get into position. There we go. Speed it up. Uh, we'll just go ahead and kill them straight away. Ooh. <laughs> we engage them a little too fast. Never mind, here we go. Time to kill them all. Oh, it's just a tiny force, no problem. Uh, ooh, because Kerma is under siege, the Egyptian army is engaged in combat at the distant city of Kerma and requires you to dispatch reinforcements. Send troops to their aid within 14 months. Okay, let me just deal with these guys. Come on, die. There we go. Now you guys can return to fort. And we can dispatch a small force, let's see. 16 infantry and 14 archers. Yeah, good, have that. Now, I've lowered the tax rate. We could probably lower it a bit more, keep people happy. Um, we could increase wages as well, keep people happy. There we go, because we're making tons of money. So now we've got this set up. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to get rid of this. going to put down a storage yard right... Uh, Ooh, okay. Um, I'm gonna put the storage yard down right... Which side? Is either side more efficient than the other? I guess... Uh, um, I'll just put it down on this side. There we go. And this is gonna hold half beer and half pots. Now we could actually just straight up import beer and pots. That is the thing we can do. That might be the easy thing to do, which I think I will do. <laughs> uh, um, then again, we do need to uh, use our population on something, otherwise we're going to have massive unemployment rates. Um, okay, okay, I'm going to I'm going to do the proper thing. I'm going to extend this road out to here. Get rid of this road because we don't need that. I'm going to put a roadblock at the end to make sure people don't wander around. And then I can put down my industry area. So I'm just going to set this up and see if everything looks okay. Oh, Pharaoh's requesting 200 luxury goods in four months. I don't have 200 luxury goods and we can't import any more. We're going to have to wait until Kerma settles down. Damn. Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna be okay. Our kingdom rating is quite kind of high anyway, so that's gonna be fine. I'm just setting up this new uh, housing area, which should be fine. Uh, just get this physician down. Actually, no, the physician should go there. And then a water supply can go here. Because I've set up this industry area on this side, which um, is kind of short on workers, but we need to import our clay and barley first, which will then head over to this uh, storage yard, which is going to accept but the pottery and beer, which is going to nicely supply all of this stuff over here. So meanwhile, I'm just going to set up this road over here, get down some roadblocks, and this is where the, the pavilion goes. Looks like I'm going to have to destroy this house. There we go. Pavilion right there. Fill up the rest of these houses. And there. Second housing area set up quite nicely. Uh, we just have to wait for uh, this housing area to develop. We've got two granaries full of food, which is going to be fine. And plenty of surplus down here. Money's still going up, generally speaking. And uh, okay, everything's looking good. So I'm just going to... Just for safety's sake, I'm going to put down one more infantry fort here because we have some extra weapons anyway. So there we go. I'm just going to build this up and we should be winning pretty soon actually. Hitting 3,000 people and we'll win. 
Ah, there we go, your victorious soldiers are home from the war. Their numbers might have been reduced somewhat since they left, but their comrade's sacrifice was for the good of Egypt. Now, can we trade with Kerma again? No, we can't. Okay. Um, oh, wait, what's this? The pot is going, but why is there no stored barley? There's barley here. Oh, is is the cart guy still just delivering the, the clay to the pots? Okay. Uh, and then again, we got... We got some beer over here. Why is there no barley in any of these breweries? Does he really have to stock up on all the clay first? Is that a priority? Oh, there's our troops back from the war. Perfect. Um, are we going to need to have two separate storage yards for clay and barley? Is that is that how it's going to be? I think it, it might be. Okay, so let's put down another storage yard. This one will go here. And this one's just going to hold barley. And the other one's just going to hold uh, clay. There we go. Because uh, I think this, this cart guy is just delivering clay. And he's constantly de de delivering clay. And they're producing pots so quickly that none of the... Uh, Let's empty this. Uh, none of the the barley is actually getting to the breweries, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so let's uh, hopefully we get some more barley over on this side, and then we can start getting some beer in. Meanwhile, this housing area has developed very nicely. Uh, it looks fantastic. And actually, considering we we don't have anything to put there right now, we could actually just fill this up with houses as well in the middle. There we go. Why is this not evolved? Doesn't have access to the most primitive of water sources. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Uh, needs beer. Okay, we need to get some beer in. Come on. Okay, stop delivering clay to these these potters. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna let the system sort out itself. I'm just gonna wait for for that to happen. Okay, the trade route at Kerma has opened back up and I'm going to set it to import to maintain 800 ebony. And that is going to hopefully keep us safe from Pharaoh there. Now, we're having massive unemployment, 14%, uh, but we're almost at our target population. Actually, if I just uh, drop down a couple bazaars right here, it's going to raise our population right up. And I'm just going to do that as well. Uh, too few jobs. Now, we need something to, to take up all these jobs. We got this temple complex to Seth that we can do, which I'm just gonna pop down right here. If I extend this road out, then we can do a temple complex to Seth. And that should take up 50 people, at least. And Altar of Anubis, how do we do this? We can actually change the altar. Um, who are our Ra and Seth? So, let's see. Temple Complex, Oracle of Sekhmet. Well, this is a military map. Let's put Anubis up there. Can we put anything else? Oracle of Sekhmet. There we go. We'll put that in. These things are expensive, I think. And there, our Temple Complex is done. And that takes up 50 people, but we still have 117 people unemployed. And we're going to get another 500 people in before we win this map. Uh, so, that's not good. Uh, meanwhile, we still haven't gotten rid of all this clay and the barley's still not going out. So let's go ahead and try and... What can we... What can we put in? Let's just dump down... Oh no, that's bad. Just dump down more weaponsmiths because why not? Uh, just to kind of fill that up. And just to counter the desirability. There we go. Now... Uh, I'm just gonna speed up the game and hopefully we'll reach 3,000 population because I put two markets here and they're gonna have food soon, which is a fantastic. Oh, there we go! <laughs> We've won! Uh, we went into massive debt, our beer supply ran out and all of these houses uh, devolved. But uh, this is a military map anyway, so we don't have to make it look nice. Uh, we just managed to sort out our beer supply over here. And, uh, well, uh, it doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, because uh, we just needed the people. Alright, well there we go, let's proceed! Well done! 
you have met the twin challenges of securing an important trade route and building a prosperous city that provides for even the most discriminating citizens. Your achievement is truly noteworthy. Exactly. Uh, if I had another couple of years, I could have managed to balance that city out. But uh, it, we won before we could fix the city. <laughs> well, uh, that's it for the Salima Oasis map. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.